Um, could I now call on Senator Neil O'Donnell? Gramoigat a Carly of Spanak Dina Fela Bridge, Liv Galair, Maratarache, Egg Koglaki Hanafi, and a show la special dogs, Kelleru, special to Foster, Kush doing Ogus Anishin Yarak, Puncho Makogin, a piece of Dohus, a Vayogin, Ogus Moji Colore, Fia Fia Sahin. Leader, I just want to begin by moving an amendment to the order of business that item 29 8 be taken before item 1. Uh, Leader Nye is the time for calm heads and solidarity uh, in the fight against the global pandemic. It is also a must that the EU and British government honour and implement their agreements post-Brexit. Nye is the time for solidarity as we fight this global pandemic together. I know my colleague and the Joint Head of Government in the North, Michelle O'Neill, spoke to the Irish Government and expressed our serious concerns that the EU did not consult with the political administrations in Ireland before moving to trigger Article 16 over the weekend. This unilateral action was clearly unwise ill-judged and totally unnecessary. I welcome the fact that the decision has now been reversed. Regrettably, it has caused political harm. It is not what Article 16 was designed for. I think once the potential consequences of this move was properly understood by the EU Commission, they very quickly made a claim down and did not pursue that particular course of action. However, it has given those shameless Brexiteers now opposed to the consequences of their own actions the opportunity of using it to their advantage. While the Irish Protocol may be imperfect, it must be preserved. The Protocol exists as a solution to avoid a hard border on the island, thereby enabling the island economy and the Good Friday Agreement to both be protected. Our citizens need timely access to life-saving vaccines, not trade disputes between the EU and the British Government. The Withdrawal Agreement and Irish Protocol were negotiated and agreed by the EU and British Government, and the onus is on them to honour and implement both. So questions uh, need to be asked, uh, Leader. There are very important questions out there as to how and why uh, this happened over the course of the weekend, and more importantly, there are answers uh, to be had as to why and how uh, this happened over uh, the weekend. This could have had very serious and very significant uh, political consequences. So, therefore, uh, Leader, uh, and in the context of the broader uh, issues which we are all uh, aware of, I do think it is timely now uh, post. Um, the 31st of, of December, uh, uh, that we have an update from the Minister for Foreign Affairs in relation uh, to uh, the post-Brexit scenarios that we all face, and indeed, uh, the, uh, uh, very importantly, given the weekend's events, the implementation uh, of both uh, the Irish Protocols and indeed the withdrawal agreement. I think it is timely that we would have those.